Oh my, George. Hello, George. George, and this is, who's this, Ingrid? This is Barkley. And this is Barkley, who I love old dogs. We've had a bit of a dilemma because Matilda's eaten Mutti's bread pudding <laughs> whilst I was away. Thank you. In Horsham, very polite. Yeah. Um, so I bought uh, a piece of bread pudding homemade from the butchers. And well, that sounds weird from the butchers. Well, well it's <laughs> that's what happens in Horsham. Butchers also make bread that pudding. The butcher's wife makes the, the butcher's bread wife Not makes the butcher. And um, <laughs> I put the bag down for five minutes and went upstairs. Oh, and Matilda up. got into the bag, ate the bread pudding. I came down as she was literally licking her lips and these are massive, it's massive bits of bread pudding, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is big pieces oh, and um, Sultanas, Sultanas are poison to dogs. So um, I ran her straight down to the vet. Lucky though, wasn't it that we knew the vet because of my cat? Yes. Unless you would have had to go right up to where would you next one be? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's this is the local it vet. It was love, wasn't it? And, See, there's um, the beauty of living in your little places. Yes, well, yeah. And uh, so they literally jumped the queue. She jumped the queue and um, <laughs> everybody in the waiting room had to wait because of the bread pudding. But the funniest bit is the vet came out. She started to pump Matilda's stomach and then said, she ran out into the waiting room and said, I found a tomato. And I said, oh yes, no, she, she has that for her breakfast. And, um, you know, vets... <laughs> You know, they're not used to people feeding their dogs raw food for a start, let alone tomatoes. So she had that tomato. You gave her something, didn't you? Uh, yes, Satsuma. She had given about sats three sections, you know. The so they probably found that. Tomato Satsumas and then a whole bread pudding. So now <laughs> poor old. we're going to collect her um, and she's just had her stomach pumped. Did you say they wanted to know what else you fed her? Well, they said it After smelled that, awful, and I in. said, well, it was green tripe, so the poor vet must be wearing a mask. I would, <laughs> but Matilda's going to be so fed up because she loves her weekends out here, and so, she's just oh. had her stomach pumped, but I'll teach her not to scavenge. I think it feels, makes them feel ill. Of course, she's got a pipe down her. Is she going to go in on the back seat? Yes, yeah. So um, I'll go and collect her. This is going to cost us a fortune, Morty, because yeah, it's, well, it cost me, you know, because it's an emergency appointment on a Saturday. Good job all the other waiting ones were patient. I suppose. Well, they had no choice. Don't. I mean, they raced her to the top of the queue. We did luck we were near a vet. Yeah. And, and that they knew you. Well, I don't think that matters. I think they just know yeah, when they it's know dangerous. It makes it, yeah. Right, I'll go in and get her. Poor Matilda, poor Matilda. That's the um, charcoal that I've got to put down her throat. Oh God. I know, but um, just twice more today and then um, she'll be okay. Poor Matilda. Yes, well. She'd rather go home. No, because she's got to stay out with us and then we'll give her some more in the car park. Here you are, you lie on my coat. Lie on my coat. Does she look as if she's feeling groggy? But yeah, she's feeling very groggy. There we go. And I've got a nice blanket. You've got Nana's blanket. Oh, you've got a blanket. Poor Matilda. Poor Matilda. Nana's blanket. There. Poor Matilda. Poor Matilda. 
Good job we've got that blanket in there. Right. Do you reckon they remembered having her before? What with all the other dilemmas? Names and things. Oh, I think so. Tilda. Oh. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Tilda. Oh dear, that's what we had to do. I have just had to squirt charcoal down her throat, but it seems to be working. And now I'm going to wash her mouth, and she seems to be recovering. Never give your dog sultanas. That's the thing. A bit frail, not Matilda. I think she's fully recovered. Yeah, I you. thought you'd be really frail by now after I think she's... all your treatment yesterday in the vet. I don't <laughs> think she was me meant to eat the whole bowl of charcoal. <laughs> yeah, I love the way they said, "See if you can get <laughs> to eat a bit of it." She wolfed the whole lot down. <laughs> You were supposed to be an invalid when you got home. <laughs> oh, it's lovely now. Yeah, it's really warm, wasn't it? So, should we have... Oh, I need to get some pet food and then... Yeah, oh yeah, we won't forget to get Should we that. get have a hot chocolate in the Wimpy instead oh, of that's Sainsbury's? Oh, dear old Wimpy. I always remember Wim Wimpy when we lived in London. Yeah. And when your father was away on his job and um, I used to take you were only four and Nigel was six at the time mm. and you used to say on the Saturday are we going to Wimpy <laughs> Wimpy's so we'll go and we're lucky we... to have a Wimpy bar in Horsham yeah I didn't know they were still going jewels in Horsham's I, crown I was ever so surprised you know when Enid said to me, no wimpy, she said, no, I didn't know there was one in Horsham. Mm, very lucky we are. Yeah. You'll have to stay in the car, Matilda. Yeah, but at least it'll be warm today. Yeah, Matilda, it will be. Yes, Matilda and I are preparing for a dinner party. I haven't had a dinner party for quite some time. Actually, I'm going to go here because I love you seeing the background. Um, and I've just got some friends coming over. Uh, all we're having is soup. That's all we're having. And um, this might well be the last dinner party I have in this glorious flat because, uh, yeah, in April I will be moving out. Do you remember these glasses I picked up? I love these. Remember I got these in a charity shop in uh, Horsham. So I'm very proud with those. And Matilda loves having a visitor, don't you? And it's an absolutely wonderful evening in Marrowbone. It's just poured with rain, but it's now really clear. Good morning. So, that was a late night last night. Um, very nice though, having people around for soup. They were quite grateful just for the soup. Um, so, what's the time? It's seven o'clock. It's very early. I am recording an episode of the podcast with Ingrid Tarrant, TV personality Ingrid Tarrant, meeting Kate at Ingrid's and driving there this time. And... Um, this is the tricky thing about London traffic. Um, I haven't got to be there till 10 o'clock and it's seven o'clock, but I've got to get through London to Surrey. She lives in Surrey in a manor house. 
there we go um so I'm to prepare oops, so um yeah i've got i'm setting off so early but i bet you anything it takes me this amount of time to get there um and i don't you know i'm an early riser i don't mind it just means at the end of the day come 10 o'clock at night i'm like ah and i'm going to the theater tonight with caprit so but i'm driving and i love driving don't have matilda because uh, because of matilda's uh problem um with the sultanas and the bread pudding i'm not taking her out in the cold because um i think she needs to be in and rest but she's absolutely fine so anyway here we go i'll speak to you when i'm a bit nearer i am i'm really looking forward to meeting her livestock because i think she did have a british bulldog i i don't know if she still has him because this was a long time ago she did say to kate and i well when i walk my dog considering this is a dog walking podcast dogs in the city don't forget you must tune into it i leave all the links below she said i also walk a pig so i'm not sure if this is a pot belly pig you know an ordinary pig are there any ordinary pigs but i'm just i'm just in the mood to get out of london walk with a pig meet my friend ingrid see how kate is somebody said on the vlog last week when we were in bell science park and it was so cold somebody said kate looks like she's close to tears she was fine i think it was just the cold weather was making her eyes water i should have known it was too good to be true so i'm on the uh what am i on i'm on the m i'm on the m25 gridlocked basically because i'm in the commuter traffic uh and this was inevitable but i've got time i've got time my concern is and this is when i start to get stressed out i've got to be back at work at the bbc by midday i'm never going to do that am i after i've done this interview with ingrid um because i go on air at half past one but i need to be in in there at 12 to have a look at everything that's on my show because i have books to read and all that sort of thing and this is when i start to get stressed out because I know I won't be back. I mean, even though I'll be, I won't be in rush hour traffic, um, this is a long way out of London. And any, every time you use the N25, all of you know, needs one accident and that's it. So, touch wood. And now I'm really touching wood. I have never ever been late for a radio show and I've been on the radio for 20 years I that I am really tempting fate and today may be the day I don't get there on time which doesn't even bear thinking about so um, let's not think about it because I've even got to where I'm meant to be this morning let's not think about that okay I'm turning this off I'm just panicking myself oh my George <laughs> hello George George, and this is, who's this Ingrid? This is Barkley. And this is Barkley, who I love old dogs. Oh, oh look, Barkley is, is completely Barkley, dead. so is Matilda now. Oh, Matilda's she? deaf. I was going to ask about your yeah. bulldog, and he's gone grey. No, this is the wonderful on Ingrid Tarrant. Oh, oh, <laughs> Glasses off, I'm <laughs> off at my best. And this is Kate, the producer, who I'm everyone knows. Look at this pig. This is Hello, George. George now, is I'm, oh God, I'm doing amazing. You. I know what's wrong with this. It's because I've got it all. Now, this... I might get a kiss. I've already had one. It doesn't normally give two. Can I have a kiss, George? Oh, you want one? All right, George. Oh, oh. oh. look at George's back. You meant a tiny little thing. So, oh. this is a Vietnamese <laughs> pot belly. This is um, look at the tail, Joe. I know. I love it. So I... Why is there tails like a dog? Oh, no. Now, he's telling me he wants water. So he's saying he wants water. Yeah. So if, if I ignore him, he'll get all stroppy and it'll go up and down. We'll hear clanks. Kate, <laughs> is this, this is not taking our dogs the best? The, this is taking our This dogs is the, the best podcast dogs in the city level. podcast we have ever done. Also, Ingrid, we're not going to tell you where she lives. That's George making a noise. Um, Ingrid lives in paradise. That's all we can say. She lives in the country, um, and it's not far from London. She's got the best of both worlds. I have. You I'm really a suburban have. girl. You are a sub and the sun is out, and it is stunning. We're not going to film too much for security reasons, but this is hasn't this blown your mind? Yeah, amazing. 
This pig. <laughs> you went to get this Peter, the other pig. There's another pig. Yes. so late I now have an hour to get to the BBC uh, before my show starts this is I spent far too long there with Ingrid and the reason was all those amazing animals I just want her life I want to live in that house with all the animals and now I must concentrate I have no idea where I am uh, is it left or right left or right left or right Which is the A3, the way to the A3? Leatherhead, Leatherhead. Down here. Thank you. Thanks. I just, I, I can't believe I've got here. I was, what's the word? Well, whatever. I, I won't use this word because my mother watches the vlog, but I was literally pooing myself because I, every, all the temporary traffic lights. I haven't had a chance to look at the show. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm here, Capreed. I'm glad you've made it in. 10 minutes. You can do this, you're a pro. I'm an old pro. You're an old pro, I'm this is what you're good at. I stopped to get coffee. So you weren't that late. <laughs> I, I knew if I came in with coffee, you'd go, oh, you stopped to get coffee then, did you? <laughs> I'm also parked on a yellow uh, don't park thing, so if I get a parking ticket, I'll give it to the BBC. Ha. That means no I mean, point you doing a shift? Absolutely no point in me doing a shift. Never mind. So, yes, what a week. Just to recap, you can probably see Matilda behind me. She's fast asleep and she has fully recovered. Um, and as for Ingrid Tarrant's pig, George, we so fell in love with him. Um, listen to the podcast and you'll hear exactly what happened in her kitchen. I want her life, I want her house, I want her animals. She is, she is a close friend of mine, and uh, but it's actually the first time I'd ever met George the Pig. So yes, Dogs in the City podcast, I'll leave the links below. Thank you to all of you who tune in. I post midweek a fashion and beauty vlog. It's called Midweek Minx. That was your idea, one of you. Um, and it's much shorter. And unless you hit the bell when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will never know when I post it, although I do post it on, gosh, sorry. Wow, doesn't that show? Ooh, blimey, that's better. Now you know I have a light on me. I'm buying all this equipment for my YouTube channel. I just hope it pays off. It will pay off if you subscribe. <laughs> That's it. Busy old week. It's chucking it down outside. Hopefully when you watch this on Sunday at 10 o'clock, the sun will be out. Who knows? Um, thanks to all of you, actually, for nudging your friends into subscribing. Ow, I've got, I've got a stitch. I haven't had the stitch since I was 12. Um, thank you for subs uh, getting your friends to subscribe. I'm slowly getting up there. I've passed the 18,000 mark. Yes, if I get to 100,000, I get a plaque on the wall. I've told you all this anyway. Listen, thank you, all of you. And I leave uh, comments after your comments, or I try to. I try to, and I think I usually do. That's it. See you next week, unless you tune in on Wednesday. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.